if you looked at the uh, picture of um, Akhenaten and his uh, daughters, the pharaohs, they had these huge headdresses. That was to hide their large skulls. They're hominids. They're not human beings. They're very, very smart. They're not creative. They're mathematical. And they, they had a much stronger force in the um, earlier Ice Age. You know, there are a lot of museums that have skulls of these. Um, uh, some people call them coneheads by slang. Some people say it's more than one species. Um, it's pretty clear that that group um, is not able to, um, the off, they, they may produce offspring in, in mating with female humans, but that offspring is not fertile, or we would see more of these, um, these hominids. And they have been, um, you know, making themselves scarce. But uh, when, when Edward was giving me all this information, I shared it with a man in Portugal who um, went and had a meeting with a bank, and he sent us uh, an email the next day and said that there was a, a, um, a big skull person with bright blue eyes at the meeting of that bank. The, the, this person, um, uh, the bank had made some improper loans to his father. And so he was meeting with a bank about those improper loans. Well, interesting. That takes things in a bit of a different direction. So you're basically saying that these uh, um, beings, whatever they really are then, maybe not human, hominids, we, we've talked about elongated skulls and other uh, oddities before on the program. So we, we're familiar with it in that reg regard. But uh, you're basically saying that that's the, the power behind the throne in this case. What you have is a world in which there are secret societies and secrets and the news and the information that ought to be public is not public. The, that group that I was telling you about, the Jesuits and behind them, this, uh, this um, uh, group called uh, Capensis, Homo Capensis, um, or Coneheads as some people call them, they were, they were trying to steal the world's gold. So it goes back to uh, Yamashita's gold, this whole story. No. It, yes, that's part of it. It starts off with Solomon, and then you get the Aztecs and the Incas and the Pharaoh's gold, and you, you, you then get all of the gold that Yamashita had. It's more gold than you know about. It's, it, the, wor the world is incredibly wealthy. 